Hello, it's Haley with the Armageddon Report. Yesterday was insane. There's basically no other way to put it. Here are the storm reports from yesterday, 7 a.m. CDT to 7 a.m. CDT this morning. And as you can see, there was a tornado that hit, did damage to Wichita, Kansas. It started all the way back in Oklahoma. And you can see it, all of these red dots, all, where it just started out and it just kept going and tornado reports all along it. Now, I'm not going to cover it much today. Hopefully tomorrow I'll dive in more deeply into what happened yesterday. Unfortunately, there were fatalities in Woodward, Oklahoma, in a storm that hit overnight. But I want to move on to today because there is actually a moderate risk. Yesterday was a high risk. And by comparison, moderate risks are actually decently rare on their own. But of course, compared to yesterday, it's not as huge of a threat. So here's the tornado watch that's in effect right now till 6 p.m. CDT, Arkansas, Missouri, Oklahoma. Here is the outlook area in general. Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa are actually in the biggest tornado threat. We'll talk about that shortly, but here's the moderate risk area. So if we book on over to here, here is the wind probability map. So you can see again, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, 45% chance of damaging wind. So what does the numbers mean? That means for 45%, there's nearly a one in two chance that if you pick any point in this area, that point or a neighbor within 25 miles of them will see a damaging wind event. Maybe not event event, but they will experience damaging winds. And then down here, 30% chance. So nearly one in three chance that someone at a point or within 25 miles of that point will see damaging winds. Here is the hail map. 30% chance there. Damaging hail would be one inch or larger. Luckily, finally we have no significant hail, which would be two inch or larger, indicated. Now, it doesn't mean that there can still be damage, or significant hail, I should say. It just means it's not as likely. So, however, we do have another significant tornado chance. So again, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, in the greatest threat, so 15%. And then the black hatched area is where the models are indicating that tornadoes that do occur could be strong tornadoes. That'd be EF2 or greater on a scale of EF0 to EF5. So that's today. Tomorrow, tames down a little bit more. We've got just a slight risk. Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and New York. That's the yellow area. And if we look at the, the probability map, you can see that quite a lot of the eastern states are affected by the 5% area. So we'll see tomorrow if that increases, or if it stays the same, maybe we'll even taper off, who knows. Day three, even less. We've got North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia in a 5% area. And you know, hopefully they'll just go away completely. That would be nice. So day four through eight. Now, if you were watching the screencast like about a week ago, I believe it was Sunday. So last Sunday was the first day that they started predicting the event that was going to happen, that did happen, I should say, yesterday. So what this means, though, predictability low, there's two things that can show predictability too low and probability too low. So predictability too low means that there is severe weather indicated, but as of now, the models aren't in enough of agreement or what not to indicate for them to actually say, OK, here's the area where we think it's going to happen. So as that you know, as it gets closer and closer to the day, that's where you start to see more and more certainty. And that was one of the things that was really rare about yesterday. Like, for instance, for instance, it was the second day in Storm Prediction Center history that they had issued high risk the day before, the last time being in 2006. And I believe it was possibly also the first time that they had issued a 45% tornado chance in the very first the basically there's an outlook the very first outlook of the day that applies to 7 a.m cdt and later is issued about like midnight to 1 a.m somewhere in that range and i believe yesterday may well have been the first time that they had put the 45 percent chance in the very first outlook of the day so yesterday was very hopefully hopefully it'll be the worst day of the season hopefully you know it will just be a quieter spring. Now, of course, there's still going to be severe weather that happens, almost certainly, but hopefully yesterday was the worst of it. So, we go back. Here are the areas in the biggest threat today. So quite a huge, slight risk area if you look at that as compared to, say, tomorrow. 
But yeah, so if you don't already, go out and get yourself a weather radio because you should absolutely have that handy and programmed such that it will actually go off. Like for instance, I've heard from family members who they own the weather radio, but it's never gone off. So obviously it's not programmed. And obviously I'm not doing my job very well if I've got family members who don't have the weather radios working. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hopefully you weren't seriously affected yesterday and hopefully you won't be seriously affected at all this year.